Okay, so we've got this DF Robot Micro McQueen version 2 with the Husky Lens, and we're trying to get it to run with uh, sensing on a track, line tracker, and Bailey's going to explain what we went through to get it calibrated and to get the code to work. Go ahead, Bailey. Well, first of all, it was not doing what we wanted it to do. It was spinning around in circles and switching tires and just not being able to find the line. So we looked it up and how to calibrate it. So we, um, there's a white button on the side of the micro bit, which we'll show you right there. And that's the calibration button. Yes. So, then what did you do? First of all, we saw that the micro bit was in there, so we left it in, thinking that that's how it's supposed to be. And we followed the instructions, and it did nothing. This and the second after we um, took out the micro bit, it worked immediately. So. With our experience, we did not need the micro bit in. You do not need the micro bit in in order to calibrate the sensor, which is step one. And we're going to put a link to this uh, web page calibration, and you'll have to click on item five, line tracking sensor calibration. And then we're also going to put another link in if you'll show them what the code looks like for make code. We'll put a link to this program in that actually makes the McQueen go in the circle. The idea is eventually we're going to add Husky Lens so that we can then uh, recognize faces like we did last week and run around the track. So there's more to it. If you go back to that instructions on calibration, we did not know that we had this black um, kind of a shadow looking image. And where do you get that? It comes in the box, according to um, the website, and we had it in the box and everything. This is what it looks like. You just line up the micro bit. All, there's five sensors on the bottom, and you're supposed to like line them up with the black so it can calibrate itself. And without doing that, it just spins in circles because it can't find the black line. Mm -hmm. All right. So there will be more about this with links in the description of this video.